Yeah, I try to do uh, it's the details. I think it's the details, obviously. Um, I usually take it to him. He knows that and I, I try to play aggressive, uh, take the ball early, and then because I'm doing that, he has to do it too. So I have to play differently against him, and I have to play against almost any other player or many other players, and he has to do the same thing because you know it's just the, the regular rally ball is maybe not going to be enough, um, and that's why sometimes. It sounds more difficult, but actually more simple because you know exactly what you need to do. You only get one shot in in, in the rally sometimes. And this is where you have to pull the trigger, you know. Otherwise, you'll be jerked around. And next thing you know, it's like you're running always after the ball instead of taking control of it. So it's look. Uh, I thought we had a good match at the at the Open, and I hope we can live up to expectations again tonight. Hey, Roger, over here. Um, at the end of another long season, there's been a lot of talk about the short off season. And I'm wondering if you think there's a concerted effort now to address this, and whether in, in a couple of years there could be a longer off season if, if uh, the schedule is approved um, by, the, by the players or by the AT, ATP board at the end of the summer. Yeah, um, we'll see how it's going to be. We've had talks with the, with the tournaments, and obviously players would love a, a shorter. Um, for the season, you know, there's no doubt about it. Um, but, you know, it's always a give and take with uh, the tournaments. I hope they really understand this point. Um, I don't remember the year finishing so late ever. I think this is the latest, the latest it's been ever, maybe, or in many, many years anyway. I don't remember the year finishing so late, uh, five years ago, ten years ago. Um, but it, it's what it is, you know, and I think if the season's longer, we should get more breaks than we usually during the season. Or you if you're smart about it, obviously, you keep running after points and tournaments. It's normal that the season becomes endless, but um, I can live with either one, you know, because I think if you're injured for a long period of time, at least it gives you a chance to at least get some points down the stretch and the rankings are going to drop like a stone. So, I mean, like, but I still think it, it's a smart idea to cut the calendar short without uh, hurting too many tournaments, and I hope that we can reach a great agreement there. Pretty confident that it's going to work out for everybody. Last two questions, ladies, please. Uh, Richard, I have stayed in Shanghai for more than a week. You must very miss your wife and daughters very much. So how to, how did you connect with them? And is there any interesting thing happens uh, to, uh, when you are away with them? Any interesting thing happens to your daughters during this period? Uh, it's been going. I've been calling them every day, uh, multiple times, and. Uh, just staying in touch, you know, seeing how they're doing. It is America. Um, I think it was very different at the beginning. Now we somewhat kind of got used to it, but uh, we know that uh, the end's near, and uh, I'll see them in, in, in a few days, so it's, it's all okay now. Um, we have over 2,000 and many great stories about the kids that they're doing and stuff, so it's fun, you know, but it's not the same when you're with them. That's, that's Roger, here. Yeah. And now that I play doubles here in Shanghai, do you think that you can, are you going to gain you some uh, advantage, I mean physically? That he play doubles? Yeah. He play doubles here. Did he win or lose? Uh, he lose today. Lost today. Well, that's a good thing. It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter if he played or not, if he's higher. The important is that he lost. So it's <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, he's hardly dropped any, any games uh, in his singles, so... Obviously, he's, he's won Beijing, and uh, it's interesting to see him play singles and doubles here, but he must have his reasons, and I'm, I think he's got two weeks off before he plays in Basel again, and um, so his schedule seems, seems fine, you know. Um, look, the doubles mm -hmm. take less than an hour, an hour 15, and we used to practice in three or four hours, so I don't think it's going to make him particularly tired. I'm the one who's still here, his leg is already covered up in bed, you know, so. <laughs> uh, I also have to go back and uh, get ready for tomorrow, but I think we're playing at 8 p.m. again. So, you know, I got enough of a rest, and my match was very easy too. So, uh, I don't think this match will be decided on the fitness tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Mr. <laughs>